You guys are with Full Sail? Yes. Are you making a documentary? Got a bunch of students out here today making a documentary on Greyhounds. The documentary is on Greyhounds or Greyhound Racing? Or? Greyhound Racing. Is it over the, about the amendment or is it just about how the dogs right are treated? Right now it's just about racing, but oh, until okay. we can get in contact with the other side, it will be about the amendment. Oh. Well, they're getting the feeding process done now. I don't have camera in me, by the way. <laughs> camera in me. Yeah, full sales that is... Uh, that looks expensive. Yeah, so it's out. They're going in now. You I'm gents all right with makeup? Makeup? <laughs> you brought our makeup kit. I'm good. <laughs> I look good without makeup. A little bit of powder. So do you. You guys go to Full Sail? Yes. And that's, uh, what, a couple years? Four years? Two, two years. Two years? Yeah. It's like a technical degree kind it of a is, thing? Yeah, yeah. So you guys could get a job as a cameraman on a news station? Yes, or absolutely. You could, get in, you could go into movies, maybe, yes. filming, reporting, that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Anything to do with photography or video? I, I could probably benefit from a little bit of that stuff. Uh, I uh, I film with my GoPro, but I edit all my footage on my phone because I'm too stupid to do it on a computer. <laughs> well, hey man, if it works, it works. Yeah, I guess. It's a two dollar phone app that I use to edit my videos. What's B roll mean? Just shooting anything you see? Yeah. Just anything around you that might be interesting. It's yeah. called B roll. Yeah, you know what, like an interview. Okay. And the interview is not A roll. Yes, yeah, so it's A roll. It's considered A roll, but nobody ever says A roll. Oh, okay. That sounds a little too close to a hole. Yeah, that's <laughs> Maybe. Probably what I was say. <laughs> How many people give their pets that much to eat in a day? They've been in their crates. The first thing they do is come out here, take a leak, and lay down again. Take a leak, lay down. They're the laziest dogs on the planet, dude. But they're the fastest. We figure that one out. Why they wear muzzles? A tape type thing? Are you taping something? Oh, it's a documentary. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an unbiased view mm -hmm. on the situation which oh, okay. is happening right now. All right. We've discovered there's a lot of misinformation being spread. Oh, screened. it's unbelievable. Uh, unbiased? It's That's unbelievable. good for our side. <laughs> no. I'm basically relief for these guys. When he takes a day off, I work for him. When she takes a day off, I, I don't usually bring my soda in there because if something happens and it does spill and uh, they drink any of it, they'll fail a drug test, believe it or not. for soda? Yeah. Caffeine. They're tested for caffeine. They're tested for chocolate. Dogs have failed because um, they've had chocolate found in their system. And then come to find out, uh, the kids that, that are the lead outs that take the dogs out on the track, behind the scenes, we're giving them candy bars. <laughs> You'll never see any of these up back here. I mean, we love these dogs. And these are livelihoods. They, they need to... All of them. When people go to pick out a, a greyhound, a lot of times the adopter groups will say, you're not coming to pick out a greyhound, the greyhound's gonna pick you. That's what happens. If you went to go adopt a greyhound, that would be your dog. The, the dog picks you is kind of how it goes, usually. That's amazing. Yeah. There's a weird connection there, and I don't. And who knows? Who can say wh why that is? But there, there will just be a dog that is magnetically drawn to you. Not that any one of these dogs wouldn't be a good dog, yeah. but why not take the one that really, really likes you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Taking one of the dogs from here, we take it over to the vet. They take the blood they need, and they use that blood to save people's pets. So you're, these dogs are actively saving lives yeah. in a safe way. Because they're, if they need if they need blood, yeah. they they call us like the local clinic. They call us. Gray, hey. Greyhounds have the universal, uh, universal. blood type that's good, that works uh, any dog. I was here when Loving Care really called dog. AJ and needed a dog because in, yeah. he, he was doing they some were, surgery and a dog and it was an emergency. Blood, the dog needed they blood. Called and we had the dog down there within five minutes. And he took what he needed to take. That's happened on one more than one occasion with yeah. you, AJ, too. Yeah. So I mean, this happens. You get rid of, uh, What's a camera like that cost? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I say at least eighteen. Wow. Yeah. Very expensive. Takes nice video. Uh -huh. It does. <laughs> Is it looking good? Hey, animal rights groups. I guess you couldn't have foreseen uh, so much action going on behind the scenes. So much truth being put out there. You're gonna lose. Art all over this track.
That's a good painting right there. For people that are just tuning in, uh, I'm an artist. I don't race dogs. Uh, but I have been uh, going in and uh, filming how greyhounds are treated for like a year now. Uh, no one asked me to do this. I do this on my own. The animal rights groups, uh, they're trying to discredit me. I'm just a guy that paints stuff in my yard. You know what I mean? I got no agenda other than tell people the truth. Here's a tweet from an animal rights group that's trying to ban greyhound racing. Uh, right here, they're trying to uh, accuse me of being a white supremacist. They will lie and slander anybody. The city of Longwood, not even a year ago, gave me the Martin Luther King Award. Uh, these idiots are trying to uh, tell people that I'm a white supremacist. It's the Humane Society and a great 2K that hide behind the name Protect Dogs. They've stolen uh, my Facebook footage. Here's a still shot that they use in their anti-racing propaganda. That's my, that's a photo from my video. Your dogs get vitamins every day. That's not all. That's me in the uh, animal rights group uh, anti-racing commercials. They stole my footage from Facebook. And uh, they're not only using my footage, they're using me in their commercials. Criminals, crooks, thieves. Hey, watch my videos in context and you clearly see greyhounds aren't abused. They take my footage and slow it down, darken it, and uh, make it look all eerie. And yet with a straight face and no sense of shame. My footage Dog right here, all that is stops. my footage. Everything about these people is deceptive. Are you people tired of being lied to? Every move these activists make is a lie or it's something deceptive and all i'm doing is showing you the truth amendment 13 uh these animal rights groups thought of everything except what's going to happen uh, to 10,000 greyhounds what, uh, if racing is banned doesn't that give them away and we're not even thinking about the dogs this could potentially be a catastrophe in the making how's it possible to find uh, homes for 10,000 greyhounds immediately Whoever passes laws against greyhound racing is going to be responsible for the lives of thousands of dogs. The lives of thousands of dogs. The lives of thousands of dogs.